Today we've been learning about Vincent van Gogh and we're going to make some art like Vincent. Vincent believed in making art that was very colorful and was very expressive. Expressive means our feelings. So today we're going to be creating a landscape and we're also going to be talking about how sometimes we have to draw lightly in the beginning of an artwork. So I'm gonna start with an orange crayon and I'm using lined paper today. I'm gonna to turn it horizontal. And I'm gonna go up more than halfway with, a, with an orange crayon and I'm gonna draw very lightly because I'm gonna color over this. The next step this that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a road. Now, earlier in the year, we talked about how in a landscape, things in the background here in the back of my artwork are smaller, and then they get bigger when they get closer. So I'm going to kind of create an S. I'm drawing a road and I need the other side. I'm gonna start very small at the back with my second S, but I'm gonna get a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to draw just a circle for the sun. Now, Vincent van Gogh used lots of colors that he created when he created his artwork. So I'm going to do the road first today, and I'm going to pick two colors. I'm going to pick brown, and I think I'm going to pick an orange. And so I'm going to very expressively, quickly color the road. And I'm leaving some white areas because I'm using two colors for the road. Sometimes when an artist moves quickly when they draw, they create a very expressive artwork. I'm switching to my orange and I'm just going to color over top the brown. So my road is very expressive. And I'm going to go pretty quickly here. I'm gonna stop there. Now I'm going to do the sun. This time I'm gonna pick three colors. There are three warm colors that artists use to create the sun. I'm gonna use red and orange and yellow. And I'm gonna think like Van Gogh. I'm going up here and I'm just gonna make some circles very expressively in red. Then I'm going to go to orange. And now I'm going to go to yellow, adding lots of motion and movement in my artwork. Now I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna do some wheat or hay growing in the field. And this time I'm going to use my yellow. Now I talked earlier this year about what happens when we get, when we have colored so much that the point is gone from the crayon. I gotta peel that crayon. Now I'm gonna very expressively fill up the middle ground, and the foreground of my artwork. Now your artwork doesn't have to look just like mine. I am drawing so quickly and with big, long movements, zigzags all over my paper. And I left some white. Now I'm gonna switch back to an orange. This time I'm not gonna push so hard. I'm just going to lightly color all of the areas that are still left white in Van Gogh's Starry Night. You can see the swirling sky. And we're going to do a little bit of that in just a moment. Van Gogh loved to notice nature and the way that things grow and exist in our world. I'm gonna keep working until I can get rid of the white on my paper. Now I'm going to think about his starry night and I'm gonna pick two different green cray uh, blue crayons from my box and I'm going to make some of those swirling movements in his paintings with this blue crayon. Again, I'm 
going to leave some white areas because I'm going to mix this blue here on top. I love to draw expressively. It doesn't always mean that I'm going fast, but that I'm using the movement of my hand when I draw. Now I'm going to switch to this other one. Here I go. Oh, I love how those two colors are mixing together a little bit on the paper. If we were using paint, it would be very interesting how those colors would start to work together. All right, now I'm going to create contrast. Contrast in an artwork is the dark and light areas of an artwork. It could also be the differences between cool colors like blue and warm colors like red. Now, I don't use black very often, but I'm going to trace over the line that shows me where the ground ends and the sky begins. I'm going to draw and trace the edges of my road. Remember the road gets smaller in the background and bigger in the foreground. And now I'm going to do what Vincent did, he created birds that looked kind of like the top of an M in his artwork to make it look like the birds were flying in the distance. We can't see the details of the birds because they're moving too fast and they're flying away. Here's a finished work of art, very similar to the expressive artwork of Vincent. Dango. All right, everyone, let's get to work.